<laughs> Horror. The genre that supplies jumps, goosebumps, and screams revolves around using creepy costumes, spine chilling sounds, jump scares, and weird angles. This conveys a creepy storyline to hook in the audience. Our trailer revolves around a mother who has lost her son to an accidental fire caused by unknown reasons, which then makes her want to investigate to discover the truth about this mystery revolving around the supernatural. <laughs> when thinking of our storyline, a number of ideas rushed to our heads. However, we still needed to research a few film trailers for inspiration. When looking at teaser trailers like Sinister and The Other Side of the Door, we fell in love with a few scenes they had produced and instantly could imagine ourselves tweaking these scenes to build a foundation for our storyline. For example, in Sinister, they unveil a little about the main villain, or in this case, a supernatural demon called Bagul, through a research documentary made by a professor. We felt like this scene would be vital to include in our trailer, since it reveals a little about the evil entity involved in our film. And so for our movie, we decided to have the main protagonist video calling a doctor who reads into the supernatural and researches many different demonic cults. The two would be having a conversation where the doctor would be telling the mother everything he knows about the cult, whilst also answering any questions she has. However, before ending their conversation, a jump scare reveals that the supernatural are now targeting the mother and will kill anyone linked to her, while also trying to keep their existence a secret. We didn't show the main evil entity, the Baphomet, in this trailer since we wanted to keep his presence a secret. This was inspired from many horror films that don't reveal the main villain until midway through the film, like Paranormal Activity and Lovely Molly. For example, in the film Jaws, at first you don't see the shark. You mostly just see the shark's point of view. Then gradually, as the movie runs along, you start to see a little more. The dorsal fin, the top of the shark, and then the actual shark, hole. This provides a mystery that keeps the audience lingering on the edge, waiting for the main villain to pop up. The other side of the door is about a mother who learns a way of communicating with her dead son through this door in an ancient abandoned Hindu temple. She then opens this door, breaking the warning given to her about the consequences that would occur. Her son's spirit is released and then haunts her whole family. We like the idea of the son passing away at the start of the movie, since the audience will have already thought of questions they want answered. This suspense provides the same effect as a cliffhanger does, and so we thought it would be a great technique to grab the audience's attention straight away. <laughs> We thought about using the distortion sounds inspired from the movies Poltergeist and Sinister. We use these sounds because it confuses the audience which draws your attention to the next clip as you think an important scene is about to arise. It's built on a cemetery. This isn't just a few pissed off spirits we're dealing with. It's a poltergeist. We just want our daughter back. The door and the world could close at any moment. If that New details today in the grisly murders of a local family found earlier this week. However, this sound is not an everyday normal sound that people hear on a daily basis, and so this is the reason people may be a little freaked out by hearing this. Vocals on the demonic cult singing was inspired by a scene in the movie As Above, So Below. The singing sounds very creepy and again is not something you hear often, and so we thought it may be beneficial to add this to spook our audience. They call themselves Gloria Kaza Satani. They worship someone called Baphomet, the Sabbatic Goat. There is at least one convention that is used across all horror movies. These are loud bangs. A few examples include It, The Ritual, 
and insidious. They are used in places where you least expect them, for example in jump scare shots or at random times in the film. We try to incorporate as much of these sounds into our trailer to make sure it contained the trait all horror films have. Our ending consisted of creepy sounds building up slowly, getting louder to the point where you hear the snap of the twig, to finally when there is a loud ending. This ending was inspired by Drag Me To Hell, Amityville The Awakening, and The Thing. Although many horror movies have rapid successions of shots at the ending of their trailers, these trailers stood out to us with their sound getting louder alongside the little montage, thus creating a panic factor we could use too. We cut and edited a few creepy soundtracks to use for the whole trailer. <laughs> the idea of using a symbol that is connected to the cult originated from a film called The Blair Witch Project. They used a symbol made out of sticks that was shown throughout the whole film, especially important scenes where the supernatural are involved. This creates a link between the supernatural and the symbol and so sticks in the audience's mind. We tried to use this prop in the magazine as well as the poster too. This was because it could become the item that binds all three products together and provides recognition by tying in all of them. We challenged the convention of having a cult looking like normal people which is shown in modern day horror films. We wanted to present more mystery by following old traditional demonic cultists who are fully dressed in robes with masks that cover their faces. For the main protagonist's costume, we had her wear normal casual clothes, which many modern day mothers would wear. This includes jeans, a t-shirt and a cardigan. We also had her wear a black formal coat during the funeral shots, since in the real world we dress black and formal for the death of another, as it shows respect. In this scene, the mother is wearing an outfit that is black, and she is at a funeral. This links the black outfit with death, and so later on in the film, when we see the cult in black, the audience instantly think of death, which is something that we were trying to connote. <laughs> a popular modern film based on a short story called Lights Out revolves around the darkness. Throughout the film, there are scenes where the darkness gives an eerie feel on the audience, hence why we use low-key lighting all through the trailer to connote a feel for the unknown. Another reason for this was the fact that the trailer starts off with a heartbroken situation for the mother, and as the storyline progresses, her situation is getting worse. <laughs> 